Whew. Good trip, guys. But I was beginning to feel like I needed a vacation from my vacation, you know what I'm saying? Home at last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. Especially when I told I him to kill her. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff. But you knew exactly what you were doing. Yeah. And now Ryan will be That's coming home. That's what I, I He'll knew. He'll sleep in his bed. Eat at our table. He'll be right here. Where he belongs. I knew Lord would never sacrifice his son. Okay, now you're going to. Whitehill is a Just like a forester is a forester. You made your family proud today. My lord. Look. They do move in herds. Oh. Okay. Where are the gods? <gasps> it was a trick. I left the guards here. They work for the other family. They double crossed us. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they were attacked. That's the Don't big it. idea. Duncan. Where are the Glenmores? Double cross. Where's anybody? <laughs> Triple cross. Oh, Ramses. Wait here. Oops, wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> we we went right to the Ramses. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreamy. Uh, a joke. I like oh, that sorry, sister. I, I should have laughed. Oh. Of course not. I I didn't need to write that. That's a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No. Roderick. Roderick. Okay, I was expecting much worse. I thought he'd have her like lobotomized well, or something. Back. Yeah. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been lovely. And you. <laughs> the I'm way he looked at him. Can't be broken. Do you think you bought it? I've decided to come see for myself. Oh my god, kill that son of a bitch. Please kill that son of a bitch. Well, there's our ability to trade. So Griff is rescued. Shit. So, what's their names? Fucking archers are shit. Yeah. Glenmore? Glenmores? And Duncan sucks. At defending. Next time! Uh oh! Uh. Dee -dee -dee. Uh, da -da. Can we'll you just that. skip it? We always like just ignore it, but can you just like say Forest. skip, skip, skip? That's to. fucking stupid that you can't skip it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just do that and we'll look directly at you guys. It's. Becky, there's cameras everywhere. I mean, there's you don't fucking. Just focus, I can see the game just screen focus on everywhere. Their pretty you Look guys can put your faces. hand over the screen. I we can't. So you Just tell us when. Oh it's... no! Oh no! It's cool. You guys are looking good today. That's some cool uh, hair you got going on. There's cobwebs everywhere. You should put some pants it's on. It's spooky in here. Ah! Why are you wearing socks but nothing else? That's weird. Right, Freezer? Why are they only wearing socks? That's it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> you and 10% didn't encounter Finn? Who the fuck is Finn? Uh, and how do you encounter him? The guy at the very beginning. Cold one boy? Brothers. No, one of the brothers at the... Um... At the wall. At the wall, and then John oh. Snow comes, and he's very disappointed. Wait, so how did that happen? We just didn't say anything. Remember, it's the character that we played that doesn't say anything at all. 
But what, how does that make us not encounter a guy? It doesn't say confront. We didn't oh, encounter yeah, yeah, I Finn. I think encounter is kind of a weird word to say there. Um, he could have accompanied you to the North Grove. How do you account him? Or encounter him? He's the guy with the knife that the thief took. If you're nice to him, he would go with you. Well, you know what? You being nice to him or anybody in this game, you're a fool. You goddamn fool. You and 59% maimed Griff. I am surprised. Yeah, me too, actually. That I am on with the majority on that one. Me I was fully too. expecting to be like you and three other sociopaths <laughs> yeah, maimed really. Griff. You and 12% revealed Sarah's secret to Lord Tarawak. Yeah, you son of a bitch. That's hilarious that people will maim Griff, but they won't betray a Emma Watson. You and 66% ordered the Glenmore soldiers to remain at Ironrath. Oh, interesting. You and 24% allowed Beshka oh, yeah. to kill oh, yeah. the slave master. So yeah. the majority of people wouldn't allow her to do so. Why? What? fucking reason is there for to not let her do that well we kind of have to we're supposed to stay on target kind of you know like stay on mission it takes seconds yeah it does glorious bloody seconds life is precious <laughs> i want to see more stats Oh, you can do it yourself. No, man. Oh, that's a horrible Let thing. Let her do it. That's the Let worst thing you could do. No, you don't do that. If somebody's getting vengeance, you fucking take vengeance in front of them? Fuck you. Um, that makes you worse than Hitler. Daenerys said she wouldn't honor our deal if we, like, fuck it up, right? You can look at online for more stats. How? My choices. Like, you have to go to their website to see more stats? Oh, maybe. That's stupid. I don't want to go to a website. Yeah, fuck that. That's really stupid. Like, I mean, I signed up for a Telltale account, so, like, and they said that you'll get, like, extra stats, but then they make me go to a website to do it? Excuse Why? Me. I don't get it. What do they got, like banner ads advertising like cheap casinos on their website that they're Ooh, hoping to make money on maybe. Like, i don't get it what's why bring people to their site so that they can get out of clicks yeah huh well that was fun yeah it was good um it was good i uh I find it easier to derp around because I don't feel like I care about any one person yeah. really too much. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's Game of Thrones mentality. I just uh, condition myself not to get detached. Your um, heart will be broken. Like there's no Clementine factor. Mm hmm. I really like trying to play it ways that I don't think I would play it mm -hmm. in real life. Showing everybody a new scenario. Yeah. Whenever possible. Yeah. Like, how many fucking, you know, shows play the mute? Do you nobody does that. I don't want to watch anyone else. Um, I was expecting, <laughs> you know, that, that I think that's the first time I, like, I mean, the game hasn't given me too many anxious moments, but I was anxious as he approached that room. Which room? Knowing that Ramses oh, was in there with his sister. Yeah, he can really And it was put from such a edge. distance that I couldn't see what was going on. I was yeah. fully expecting her to like have nails through her hands and like her head to be cut open and have like parts of brain missing and that's why she's talking like that. Like he's lobotomized her and she's just talking like a robot now, kind of. Oh my god. Like something really horrible. Oh, Basically like a Hannibal type scenario, and he's like feeding her her fingers or something. Oh my 
god. That's yeah. what flashes through my mind, like the worst possible things. Well, there's way worse, but... Woof. Wouldn't pass, put it past Ramsey, yeah. Exactly, and that's what they knew that you would feel if you've been watching the shows, that that scene would be anxious. Yeesh. Um. Yeah, why haven't we seen tits yet? Yeah, that's pretty it's bullshit Game right there. It's Thrones and Telltale's done tits before. Yeah. When? I guess they don't have when to. When they do tits. Oh, yeah. Uh, in Wolf Among Us. Yeah. What the fuck? They've crossed that line before. I guess there hasn't been any With reason Wolf Among Us. for tits yet, though. There is always a reason for tits. That's what I say inside the house all the time. And then you're always like, put them away. That's true. It's because too many tits. Tit overload. Yeah. Uh, See, maybe they didn't want to tit overload everybody. <laughs> God. You get desensitits. <laughs> um, the, oh, that was funny. Uh, I guess maybe actually there hasn't been any settings in which there should be boobs. That's exactly what I was saying. I'm trying to huh. think of if there has been a way to work in boobs anywhere. No. Hmm. Yeah, without Littlefinger, I mean, most of Game of Thrones excuses are... Tyrion. Tyrion having fun. Littlefinger's place. Eh, no. They have just general... I'm glad that they haven't just shoved tits in for the sake of having tits in it. No, I think they should. <laughs> no, it's not just for the sake of it. It's just to add, like, a, a setting. L let's put it this way. Uh-huh. Conversations have been occurring in gardens and hallways where they could do that in the show. They say, why not have, you know, the king or prince of roses there with his gay lover in this scene instead? They could have had those conversations somewhere else, but they have them in the bedroom instead. Ah, uh, that's true. With all butts that's up in your true. face and shit. Anywhere that could be in one setting can be done just as easily in the ba bedroom. It's a good place to do some naked talking. I mean, I went to film school, and rule number two was that are your characters talking? If yes, are they in the bedroom? If no, why not? It was like a flow chart you follow. Oh, yeah. Cool. Giving away all the secrets, huh? Rule number one is never drop out of film school. <laughs> so I forgot the rest of the rules. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, th so anyways, that's my point, is that um, there's always a reason for tits, because you can always make it a bit more interesting. Hmm. And Game of Thrones does it well. They throw in something for everybody. Yeah, they do. You got gay slender boys in there. You got floppy wieners all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, you got, got boobs of all shapes girl. and sizes flopping got around. Hetero. You got some... Yeah, totally lots of different boob sizes. Yeah. All kinds of crazy crap. The <laughs> floppiest wieners. You know, the, um... Yeah. Really, there should be way more dicks. Cersei's boobs weren't hers. I know. That was really a crazy scene. It's well done. Yeah. You do have lots of butts. I've seen dicks in games in Outlast. Those big fat dicks. There was a story that I heard about the guy who got to jump out and just be like, look at this, or whatever. Because I remember we were watching, we were like, what's the casting like for that job? Like, <laughs> I thought I I'd looked it up and that somebody actually had information on the guy who did it. Yeah, there's like an interview with him or something, oh, and how that's like, <laughs> that's so awesome. That's just the thing he did. Huh. <laughs> and they've aged everyone seven years for that exact reason, so they can show boobs all the time. Because mm. I'm sure seven years younger, there's still tons of n nudity in the book, but to show it on TV, they got to make everybody older. Yeah. Have we seen Khaleesi naked? Because she was like 14 at the beginning. Who? Khaleesi. Oh yeah, I mean like immediately after Drogo mounts her. 
We see her naked. Oh, in this? Well, in the TV show, yeah. Yeah. I just can't remember. Yeah, in like her first scene. <laughs> yeah, in her first scene, oh, she walks yeah. into the bath. Right. Interesting. There's less nudity in the books because you're not picturing it with nudity. That's funny because in reading the books, I, I felt like there was a similar amount of nudity. I guess maybe not some of the random stuff in the background. I don't know, reading it is just slower, so. Usually I thought they take more nudity out when they put it on TV. Like, have you read, like, Treasure Island? No. Everybody's naked. Really? Moby Dick, too. That's where it got its name. Because of the dick? Yeah. Captain Ahab wouldn't put it away. Really? Oh. I never even knew. In Forrest Gump, they toned it down a lot? Hmm. Hmm. Boobs. <laughs> we can all agree that boobs and dicks and bums are cool. So you got it, Baloney Man. Just never imagine people wearing clothes. There you go. It, Forrest Gump had a lot of dark stuff in the book. It had a lot of dark stuff in the movie. I never... Was it a book before it was a movie? I guess it was. Crazy. You know, I mean, the way I read books, it made To Kill a Mockingbird really hard to understand. Because to me, I was like, well, obviously he's on trial. Walking around it's naked insane. like that. Busting up Shifferub's naked is going to make people think. Shouldn't be that naked. We're gonna take a. Uh, we're gonna take a 24-hour break at least now. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, no, everybody. No, 22-hour break, guys. See you later, everybody. Thanks Bye. for watching.